Hello. Welcome back to Tape Measure Pencil Knife. Today on Tape Measure Pencil Knife. Penciled knife? Today on Tape Measure Pencil Knife, we're building another barn door. How to build a mirrored barn door. How to build a mirrored barn door. I can't talk. As soon as I turn the camera on, I can't talk. First, we need a material list. I have five, five and a quarter, tongue and groove, V groove, 16 foot long. I'm probably only gonna need four of those, but I have five. And I have two one by eight by 16 spruce. I had a big chunk of mirror cut. The door I'm building is 36 and a half inches wide by 82 inches tall. And I have a mirror slightly smaller on each side in the top and bottom that we're gonna put on that door and then a face frame. Let's get this thing started. First, I'm going to cut the tongue and groove V grooves into 82 inch boards. I need seven of them and then we'll decide what the next step is, right? I'm a little rusty. I'm getting back into these tape measured pencil knives, penciled knives, tape measured pencil knife. It's time. I already feel the music building, so I can't mess around. It's time, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> So I did slightly bad math. I said I needed seven. I put the seven together and I was gonna cut off a little bit on each side, but there's none to cut off on each side. It's already 36 and a half. And I really need there not to be a tongue or a groove on both sides at 36 and a half. So I'm gonna cut an eighth 82 inch board. With an eighth board, I will be able to cut each edge kind of in the middle of each board that will give me a nice flat surface and won't be a tongue and a groove on the edge because that's what it is right now so cutting the eighth board 82 inches putting it on the ground pushing them together making marks running those through the table saw putting them back on the ground pushing them together with glue put glue in the tongues slide the groove into the tongue then cover it with liquid nail and place the mirror on there, smear it around pretty good. Center the mirror left and right, pouring sweat out here. This is why I don't do tape measure pencil knife in the summer, because I sweat all day, every day. Everything I just said, I'm gonna do that now. So if you didn't understand it, just watch, because I'm gonna do it now. And maybe you're a visual learner like me, and you can't talk very well. Not good at talking. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
that's a bingo. <laughs> The mirror is in place. The next step is cut the top and the bottom to length. A 36 and a half inch top, 36 and a half inch bottom, rip the top down to about five and a half inches, leave the bottom the full seven and a quarter, wrap it out the top, wrap it out the bottom, and install them. I have an example of what rabbiting out the back means. So I'm gonna do like this, see what I did there? Cut that on the table saw, cut it this way first, and flipped it, lowered the blade, cut it a little more. Then the next thing we'll do is the sides. And I'll make them match the top at about five and a half inches wide, rabbit it out so they can also sit on the mirror. Here's the, here's the rabbited piece. It's gonna sit on there like this. Yeah. See that? That way this can still touch the, still touch the tongue and groove and the mirror goes right in there. You get it. I'm the best explainer. I'm the best at explaining things. Professional explanatory skills. <clears throat> Big words. Here we go.
is done the door is essentially done except for those rectangles on the top and bottom you can see the rabbit in the 1x8 on the bottom and the 1x6 on top those rectangle holes I'm gonna set the door on some saw horses where it will be a little more manageable to work with my knees hurt everything's pouring out of my body all the sweat and blood and tears I cried a little bit earlier. Let's get the door on some sawhorses and make some rectangle shaped wooden plugs, cover them in glue, tap them in to those holes. Then all that's left to do is sand. Probably start with 100 grit and then the last grit I will use will be around 220 and that should make it smooth enough on spruce and ye southern yellow pine and spruce. I didn't cry earlier, I don't know why I said that. I I've confused myself at this point. Let's just go. Let's go. transition <laughs> clever that's a uh, that's as far as I go right now the painter will stand here to paint it and I'll come back after that and hang it but for now that's it I'm out of here for now
That's it for this part. Coming up next, the door on the track. Door on the track coming up next. Here we go. it that's the barn door I wanted to film the ending on location but I forgot my mic see that little see that little thing that's my microphone I just ran out of the house with a tripod a gimbal and a camera and batteries and a memory card I had all these things rushing through my mind you need this you need this you need this oh and the track came in the mail take the track with you don't forget the track Got to the location, installed the barn door real quick. I'm filming the end of it and I'm like, oh yeah, look at this gimbal. I'm doing good with a gimbal. Making making this barn door look extra good. It's in a tight spot though. I, it was hard to, it's hard to film in a little bathroom like that. Anyway, it looked really good in there. And then I was like, all right, time to film the ending. Where's my microphone? Ah, I forgot the microphone. Left it at home. My brain has had too many things in it. My doctor says I have uh, like a lot of HDs, high definition I think, or something like that. 80 of them, 80 of these HDs. That's a lot, but I'm gonna get a second opinion because if, if there are HDs in my brain, I'm gonna say I have at least 100. <laughs> Why 80? Why not 90, 99, 100 HDs? I'm pretty smart. Um, that's it from all of us here at Tape Measure Pencil Knife. And by all of us, I just mean just all the different voices in my head doing different things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And now I have to hit the camera. I always forget that part. Goodbye. <laughs>